Hi, so we're discussing today how to install the laser, JTEC Photonics laser system on the Shape Oko 3. First, let's discuss what's in came in the kit. So first we have the 5 amp laser driver or the 2.5 amp laser driver that uh, comes with your laser. If you bought the 7 watt package, it will be the 5 amp. Um, in this case, it's going to be the 7 watt um, shrouded laser that we're going to install. Um, we have many options to install the uh, to have on the site. We have the 2.8 and the 4.2 shrouded and unshrouded. You're going to get a, a pair of laser goggles. You're going to get a power supply. You're going to get extension cables that these go from the gantry all the way back down through the system. Um, and there's going to be two types of mounts. There's the standard shape oco mount that fits in the front and allows you to put the laser um, in the front or the side. In this case, we have a dust boot attached to suck a dust boot. So in this case, we're going to have the um, dust boot mount that has a cutout for the hose that allows you to keep the laser on, mounted uh, on the, the system while you have the dust boot. And we have some zip ties, some, uh, some uh, uh, sticky pads for the laser, and then we have the uh, magnet um, mount front piece. Um, so let's uh, start by discussing how to get the mount on the system. So let's start by attaching the base plate to the dust boot mount. In this case, we have the dust boot mount. It's going to slide onto the front and it's going to be positioned to the right. So the base plate is going to be onto the right here. There's um, nuts that you can put into the sides. We've um, pressed these into the sides here. Um, and then we're going to press this one into the top here. And that will make it easier for this to go in. This guy is going to be onto the right there, so that's on the bottom, so that's going to be a little bit tricky, but um, we're going to put this, make sure that it's oriented the correct way, and that's going to be towards this side, and I'm going to start by putting this top one in. Make sure that's tightened up. And then I'm going to put the front ones in. These two side ones are now going to go in this side. And the top one's going to go in here. So in the end, you're going to have a nice and tight system. All these are tightened up. And voila. And now this is ready to go onto the front. Now when you put it on the front, make sure that you slide it in enough, but um, you don't need to tighten these down too much. Just keep them um, hand tightened and just a little bit, just like so it's like, oh, okay, like that. Don't have to overly pop, press into the metal. You don't need to get to the sticks so much. There's two on the top, and then there's going to be two on the bottom. And we're going to tighten those and tighten these. And that's good to go. It works, and it's pretty solid, pretty rock solid. Um, and yeah, so let's uh, get ready for the next part. So we've just unwrapped our um, 10 foot extension cables uh, and we have the thick ones going to be our laser cable, the thin ones going to be our fan cable and we're going to get ready to put them onto the cable chain. Um, the side that is going to be um, towards uh, the laser is going to be the two um, female connectors. Um, these are on, the, late, on the, the gantry side, these will be over by the gantry. Um, the other side is the, are these two connectors. These are the two going towards the laser driver. Um, if you want to put them in the cable chain and, and wrap it through the cable chain, then I recommend using tape and taking some tape and putting them next to each other and just getting it so that they are nice and small, and so you have a pointy end kind of, and that you can kind of get it easy through the cable chain together, and this is what's going to go through your cable chain. We're going to show that um, in just a second.
We've taken the extension cables out of their bag and we've lined them up and this is the end, the female end is the ones that's going to be attached to the laser so we're going to leave them with a little bit of space sitting right here and you can take the other side and put it all the way through the cable chain um, like we showed just a second ago with the blue tape. It's going to take a little bit longer so for this video and also on your machine if you don't want to you can feel free to just zip tie them. We included 16 zip ties in the um, kit for you guys to, to be able to just sit here and, and zip tie them um, uh, onto the, the, the cable chain itself, onto the outside of the cable chain. So we're going to leave about a few inches, maybe three inches there on that one. And then we're just going to go and continue to zip tie these all the way through. So in our mounting kit uh, bag, we're going to have our instructions on how to install the mount um, and also the page ID on where you can find this video. Um, and then there's going to be a couple things in here too. There's going to be the input cable wire and the press fit um, tool and the press fit pin. We're going to discuss how to do that. Um, and we also have some extra screws in here too for mounting and some sticky pads. Um, and we're going to talk about that in a second too. So let's move on first to installing the press fit connector. All right, first off, we have to start by taking the electronics cover off of the side of the shape logo here. You're going to need a, a large Allen wrench to do that. Take both of the bolts on each side off, exposing the carbide board. Pull it away without making sure that the cables don't get pulled. The part that we're going to want to get to is on the right hand side here. So we're going to take our press fit tool or our press fit um, connector. You're going to be two large um, sides on the top and then the two that are going to get pressed in are on the bottom. Um, there's going to be a, a, a uh, two pins. One's labeled ground is on the bottom and PWM is the second one. You're going to take your press fit connector and you're going to put it into those two pins and you're going to take your press fit connector tool, the little plastic tool, and you're going to take it between your thumbs and you're going to put it inside there and you're going to gently, not super gently, but um, press it into the board until you know that it's in there. And you can see that it's in there by the bottom of the plastic is going to be pretty flush. Um, you can also see and check behind it to make sure that it's not going to be um, touching anything. It's going to be a nice, nice um, connection after you pressed it in. Um, okay, next thing we're going to do is do the wiring. All right, now we're going to move on to the next step. We're going to take our input cable from the Shapeoko uh, mounting kit and it's going to be this small cord that's kind of wrapped up and it's going to have on one side it's going to have a um, red and black connector that's black and then on the other side it's going to have a Molex black connector and what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, the side that is the um, black red and white small two pin connector and we're going to put it towards the carbide board. We're going to take it and move it into the center hole and put it into the center hole and we're going to have it come over to the board and make sure your red is on top and your black's on bottom. The black, the black goes to ground and the red goes to PWM and put that onto your press fit connector. Just like that. And then we can go and put our um, cover back on and there you go.
All right, so this is the most important part. It's getting the cables, the correct cables to their correct connectors. On the laser driver, on the back of the laser driver, we're gonna have three connections. There's going to be the laser is on the far molex, the input cable from the carbide board is going to be on the middle molex with the black dot, and the laser fan is going to be on this one, and the power is gonna be in the middle. Um, there was three cords that we had First, the two extension cords. There's a laser extension cord, which is a thick cable. That's the laser cable, and it has a um, clear Molex connector. The small one is the fan, and this one that just came from the carbide board is going to be the input. Now, let's start with this one. It's a black connector, and it goes to the black dot middle connector here. That's the carbide input. Next, let's do the laser. The laser is the thick one, and it goes to the outside connector. Then we have the fan, and we have, after that, we have the power. And the power clips into the back right here. So after you're all said and done, you have laser, you have the input, the black input cable from the carbide board, power and laser fan. If you get these backwards, you have the potential to harm your system. Make sure the laser is in the outside one and this one is the input. Double check. Make sure the black goes to the black dot connector. If you have it a different way, then that will be very detrimental. All right, now let's talk about where we're gonna put our laser driver now that we're all done with it. Um, in the packet that we sent for the mounting, kit is going to have some sticky pads and it's also going to have some screws, some longer screws. Um, this is your choice. You can leave it here, just sitting here, so it's easy to go take off and put in a box when you're done with it. You can sit there with, you're going to go carve, you can just unplug all these and then throw and put it in a, in a cabinet somewhere. Um, or you can mount it. Um, one of the things you can do is you can put the sticky pads on the back and you can mount it to this if you want to and make it look all nice and, and part of the system. That's fine if you want to do that. Um, you can mount it anywhere you want with the sticky pads. These sticky pads, obviously, you can use a lot of different places. Or we put some screws in. Um, on this version of the driver, you can take the screws out and, and use these longer screws to attach into the, the, um, the black box here. You just have to drill some holes and then change the screws out, and that way it will be more permanently attached with screws. Um, up to you. It's, it's not any, any way you want to do it. It's your machine, so you can uh, um, have your choice there. But um, personally, we just leave them lying on the side like this so that they're easy to swap out and things like that. So, all right. All right, so in this case, we're going to have the, the seven watt shrouded laser, and it's going to have a cable coming off of it. The cable coming off of it is going to have the Molex, which is the laser cable and then the small one is going to be the fan one. Um, and then the back of it is going to have um, magnets, and there's going to be two, um, two holes here, or uh, two screws actually, that are going to go into to the mount and align the laser to where it's supposed to be. These two holes down here are where you want it to align. So all you need to do is go over to it, and you find where those holes are, snap it in, and it's in. It's nice and snug. It will not move. It will not come off. If you want to take it off again, then obviously you can pull it off, but it's nice and easy to come in and off. And you're going to take then and connect the laser to the Molex cable there and the fan to the fan cable here. And then you can sit and you can um, zip tie this so it's like, it looks nice and clean. Do whatever you want to do with it at the end. But make sure that you connect these over here to the fan and the laser, and then you're good to go. installation uh, for the JTEC Photonics lasers on the shape of a three. Um, go to the website at jtechphotonics.com for more information about uh, materials and setting up software. There's a post on setting up Lightburn uh, for the shape of a three on the blog and also on the shape of a three instruction page um, and look for more videos to come. Uh, thank you very much.